folks, we have so much to break down that we are jumping right into it. So smash that like and subscribe button because Trump is trying to shut this channel down and channels like it as he tries to control the narrative. So fight back and make this community bigger so he can't stop us because we are exposing the deadline that people aren't really talking about. There's a Monday deadline. But the real final deadline for Donald Trump in this whole affair to try and save his businesses has passed and a judge is furious at him for his failure to meet that deadline, show up and actually get things done. And it's given Letitia James a real opportunity to not only, yes, seize all of Donald Trump's properties, take the golden toilet in Trump Tower and take the tower itself, but also do lots of other things no one was expected, faster than expected. Donald Trump had opportunities to save some of his buildings and to delay the process even further, one of his only skills, but he failed to do that. And the shocking details are here. Again, all of this is critical. And the last 60 seconds are the worst 60 seconds for Donald Trump in months. Donald Trump has until Monday to solve a $450 million problem. But how exactly did it get here and how could it play out? CNN senior legal analyst and former federal and state prosecutor Ellie Hoding is right here with us. Well, what are we talking about? Where did this start? Where does this dollar figure come from? Yeah, John, so let's go back to the beginning. This case is the civil lawsuit filed by the New York State Attorney General Letitia James against Donald Trump and his companies alleging and now having proved that they overinflated their assets and then used that in order to get loans from banks. Now, the judge returned a verdict for Donald Trump. The verdict was in the amount of $350 55 million dollars plus interest you somehow did the math and backed it out is what gets us to that 450 plus million dollar figure now the attorney general can start collecting on that as of monday unless donald trump posts a bond with the court now let's understand exactly what that means there's sort of a two-step calculation going on here first of all a bonding company usually this is going to be a private company an insurance company or a bank they certify to the court that if donald trump does not pay the total amount that he's owed after his appeal we are good for it we will cover him now in order for them to make that promise donald trump has to post collateral with the bonding company. That can be cash, that can be other assets. Now, Donald Trump has been unable to do that so far, and hence, if we get to Monday and he's not posted a bond, Letitia James can start collecting. Uh, again, to be clear, the bonding companies won't give him the money because at some degree they don't think he's good for it or they don't like the collateral he's putting up, correct? It's a loan, essentially, yes. Okay, so if Trump cannot pay, right this or post this by Monday, what happens? So a couple things. First of all, he does still get to appeal. I've heard it said that he cannot appeal unless he posts a bond. Not true. He can still appeal. The verdict against him came from the trial court, which confusingly in New York State is called the Supreme Court. Don't ask me why. Leave it to New York. Right. He can still appeal the case to the appellate division and perhaps to the Court of Appeals. But the problem, if he fails to post a bond, is while he's appealing here, Letitia James, the attorney general, she can start collecting. She can seize his bank accounts. She can start the process of trying to seize and then liquidate or sell off his properties. Now, it's not as simple as sheriffs just storm in and put up a sign and say, this is ours now because there's other entities that have interests in these real estate holdings. There's mortgages on them. There's other shareholders. But Letitia James can start the process if there's no bond or other intervention as of Monday of seizing these properties. You say are other interventions. Yeah. So what ways could could Donald Trump get out of this? So he's hoping or looking for any of two things to happen. First of all, Donald Trump has gone to the appellate division, the appeals court in New York, and asked them to either delay the bond or to reduce the amount. He writes in his brief that he has tried, he has tried 30 different companies, and he writes that the, a, posting a full bond here is, quote, a practical impossibility. Now, the AG filed a response last night. They said, we disagree. He needs to try different ways to do it. Appeals courts do sometimes come in and reduce the amounts of bonds, sometimes substantially. The other potential development that could bail Donald Trump out here is he could get a cash infusion. Someone could come along, give him, loan him cash. We won't necessarily know who that is. That's a private transaction. Of course, journalists are going to press on figuring out who it is. So maybe he'll get a cash infusion. People have said, well, how about his real estate? That's not going to work. He's not going to be able to sell off real estate between now and Monday. 
Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Donald Trump now has five days to come up with nearly half a billion dollars. And things are not looking so good for him on that front. The deadline to pay his judgment in the New York State civil fraud case is March 25th. That is next Monday. That means he has got less than a week to pony up the more than $450 million he owes in penalties plus interest for his fraudulent business practices. Now, normally in a situation like this, a person in Trump's position would secure a bond. He would put up some collateral and then a third party would front the rest of the cost. Here's the thing. He can't get one, at least according to Trump's lawyers. They say he tried 30 different times to get a bond and he was turned down each time. At one level, that's kind of surprising. I mean, Trump may significantly over-exaggerate his wealth, but he's not poor. He owns many valuable assets, including multiple expensive properties. Trump Tower, Mar-a-Lago, his own Doral Resort in Florida, a bunch of others. For any other businessman, those assets would function perfectly well as collateral. But of course, the problem is this is not any other businessman. This is Donald Trump, a no notorious lifelong con man. No one with the wealth to front him the cash will do it because they know that somehow he will ultimately leave them holding the bag. This subtext was made explicit by Fox of all places. He's having a devil of a time putting up this bond. And he's and his friends aren't stepping up. I mean, this is something that I've what does asked that mean? today. Well, I've been asking Wall Street people that know they're not stepping up. What's their reason? They're afraid they're never going to see the money again. I have no idea what their exact reason. You want me to postulate here? Sure, it's a family show. Um, well, that's like ahead. that's like a non sequitur yeah. there. But right. anyway, because, um, but it, I, I just think that they don't think they're going to get their money back, as you say. <laughs> Oh, well, do you want me to speculate? Yeah, it's what you said. They're not going to get their money back. Things have gotten so dire, in fact, that former Trump staffer Larry Kudlow is now, listen to this, just openly begging billionaires to write the ex-president check on air. Kevin O'Leary, I think um, this is where it's going to go. Now, I was wondering, if he can't get to the Supreme Court, will you loan him the $460 million? <laughs> You know, Just to help, in order to protect America's name. The, Think of get, it that to way. To get the bond, <laughs> he, he was able to get the 90 plus million from Chubb. Yeah. Um, it's, I don't know of a bond more than 90 million. I, I don't recall not, one. Yeah, you and so you it. need cash to back up the bond insurance. And so now we're talking about the, the, the terminology of seizing assets, th that actually, that's foreign language to an American. Well, it's not foreign language. I mean, assets get seized in America all the time, as a matter of fact. You'll notice Kevin O'Leary there not saying yes when Larry Kudlow asked him to front the money. So this is where Trump is at, having his buddies beg for money on his behalf. Bernie Marcus, the Trump-backing billionaire co-founder of Home Depot, was only slightly less pathetic in his recent opinion piece. Quote, there are several actions conservative donors should take to ensure that Trump-Biden, too, will have a different outcome than their first match. First, the different factions of the Republican Party must unite behind Trump and participate fully in the presidential election. Put another way, no one should sit out the presidential election or withhold their financial support to our nominee. And as it stands, Trump simply does not have the cash he needs by Monday. Without a bond, he is going to need to raise that cash. Joining me now, someone who has been covering Trump's financial peril very closely, Suzanne Craig. She's investigative reporter at The New York Times. Great to have you here. Great to see you. I want to start by setting the table of like how this would normally work, just because I'm not sure how this does normally work. We've never seen this before, so let's just go forward knowing that I've never seen something this large involving somebody like Donald Trump. But this is a huge bond he's got to come up with. Okay, so that's actually answers my first question. Like, right. there is no how this would normally work. No. Because you're no. not normally in a situation where you just got to come up with $500 million. No, and that's why I just, I know I've been carefully sort of working through some of the various avenues in the last few days because this is just so unusual. And he also has still some legal avenues left. And there's one thing I've learned about Donald Trump in my years of covering him. It's what you said, and it's don't count him out yet. He's facing a very, very harsh deadline on Monday, but he still has some avenues. One of them is an appeals court has to rule on this, and they're going to do so by Monday. I would expect it would come Thursday, probably Friday. Okay. 
And they, they could do a few things. They have some options. One is they could just say, let's stay this and put it off until the appeal has been seen through. I don't think that that is going to happen, but it's one option. The other option they have is he came to them and he said, I'd like the bond, the appeal bond that I have to put up to be at 100 million. They rejected that. But they could come up with a compromise that isn't this $500 million that he has said he cannot meet. Okay, so the 500 million question, um, th there's, a, there's some liquid market for these kinds of bonds at smaller amounts. Right? Right. Like if you had a civil judgment against you for $5 million, I don't have $5 million in cash, there's some posting of collateral where the bondsman it, it, posts it. Collateral's really tough for these, these companies that take the appeals bond. They want cash. They're not in the real estate business. Right. They don't want to own Trump and, Tower. And, and, what is that going right. to do? Right. And who knows what that's going to be worth in three years or two years when this is seen through. They want something they can liquidate in the markets that night. And clearly, he doesn't have the cash. He does not have the cash. That's he's, clear. He's represented that. He may have some of it, and I'm going to get to that in a minute because I think everybody imagines come Monday, if this doesn't go his way, Letitia James is going to be there with the New York State Troopers with a padlock. They, they may put liens on properties, but they may also come and seize what cash he has, which could throw the Trump organization and can they even meet their payroll come Tuesday if this goes forward? There are so many unknowns that are going to happen. But the other thing is, is that he just now, ba you know, backing up to the appeals court that's going to rule, they could just reject him and then he can appeal that and go to a higher court. But Monday is still a deadline that he is facing. OK, so let's say so there's some some off road for an appeals court possible. Yeah. Let's say that off road doesn't happen. Yeah. So before we get to the showing up the padlock. Um, could you, again, this is all, it's fairly uncharted, right? Could, could, could you just do like a friendly loan? Like, yes. could Elon Musk say, yes. it would be very useful for me as Elon Musk to have the nominee of one of the two major parties and the possible future president owe me an enormous amount of favor. Right. I'm going to post $500 million for him. Right. I, that's, and that's one, I would imagine that one option is somebody could come forward and they could say, we're going to give this to you as a gift or a loan. Those are both taxable events and would cost the person doing it, and there would be paperwork involved. But that is one option. And the other option is, is that he could find somebody who he has a friendly transaction with to sell some properties. Oh, I see. So like a, a, quick, like a quick sale. One, one that I, I'm thinking of, and I don't have any reporting on this to say that it's happening. He owns a, a hotel in Las Vegas with a fellow by the name of Phil Ruffin. They are on very good terms. Phil Ruffin is a supporter of his politically. Phil Ruffin could say, I'm going to buy you out of your half of the hotel. And they could do a friendly transaction that would not take a long time. And let's say that that transaction, any transaction that he comes up with, takes 60 days. Donald Trump may come to the courts and say, I'd like a little bit of extra time. I would imagine, does Letitia James want to trigger? She might give him, she might say, okay, right. she might not, but that's another thing that, that could happen. Okay, so some kind of, someone loans him or gives him the money. I don't think gift, but someone loans the money. Some kind of friendly, relatively fast and streamlined financial transaction like. Or one or two because he needs a lot of money. Right, right. so a partner buys him out of his half of the Vegas right. casino being an example. And there's there's one other one just really quickly, you know, the, 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 the appeals bonds that he's trying to arrange, they're still could happen. There's been a lot of negotiation. And when I read that in a paper, you know, in the court papers, I think, well, there was a lot of discussion potentially about taking real estate as collateral. I still don't rule that out. I think it's unlikely. But who knows, right? It's just another option. It, it just seems like if you take real estate as collateral, you just have enormous downside risk. Huge. Depending and some on what of, happens And, and some of them like, have loans on them, so they already right. have. Uh, obligations against them, yeah. right? If anyone's right. watching this and wants my financial advice, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I, I see some downside risk. I don't want an office tower in New York either. Yeah, They're right. Full. I, right. Well, that's a great, right. uh, another great point. So, okay, now we get to the the appeals court doesn't, no offer out on the appeals court. He's He can't find someone to lend him the money or to, or to raise the cash through sale. What happens then? Then Letitia James comes to the court and she will start putting liens on the properties. I don't think we're going to see a situation where they're padlocked and she's going to take them and sell them because she may have to give those back at the end if he is successful on appeal. Right. So that's a whole nother issue. But she will start to take possession potentially of properties or of 
um, if he has cash sitting there in accounts, that's also fair game or also obligations that he has coming in. She could seize a rent roll. There's just so many options. She could do that. My understanding is yes, yeah. So or she, the cash that he had. Like, if, right, let's say there's that, $40 million so really, dollars sitting in an account that they make payroll, whatever it is. Right, and that's pretty, when you think about it from the Trump organization's point of view, they, you know, they need cash to run the business. So they,